Men, women, celebs, and the non-famous alike are all switching off their Twitter accounts today in solidarity of women who've been sexually harassed. And cause ain't nobody gonna silence Rose McGowan. Repeat after me, we will not tweet today. As you know, Hollywood is crawling with douchebags. <coughs> Harvey Weinstein, <coughs> sorry, something's in my throat. Actually, every industry in the world has cases of sexual harassment. Shoot, look at the White House. But we are cleaning house, starting with Harvey Weinstein, who's been running Hollywood for way too long. Tons of female celebrities have come out with their stories accusing the film mogul of sexual harassment, forced masturbation, and even rape. Effing disgusting, but not surprising. I've got my own horrible stories to share, which I will be tweeting about with name drops, but tomorrow, not today, because I'm not tweeting today. And maybe neither should you. Rose McGowan has been one of the most vocal celebs to call out Harvey Weinstein and Ben Affleck for misrepresenting how much he didn't know about Harvey's history of assault. In the past, Rose had admitted to being raped by a powerful film titan, but she has finally named him Harvey Weinstein. And to our shock, her Twitter account was suddenly suspended. Allegedly, she broke their terms of contract by tweeting out someone's phone number, but what it really looked like was that a rape survivor was silenced for calling out a powerful mogul. In fact, she Instagrammed this pic of her suspended Twitter account with the caption, Twitter has suspended me. There are powerful forces at work. Be my voice. Twitter's decision to silence her sent a dangerous message, so the hashtag women boycott Twitter was then born, and male and female celebs alike united and promised to stay off Twitter today. Kerry Washington tweeted, starts now. Elizabeth Banks promised to stay off Twitter today. Gabrielle Union said, let's go. Gina Rodriguez wrote yesterday, I stand with my sisters. I won't be live tweeting the premiere of Jane the Virgin tomorrow. Instead, come on over to Instagram. I'll do BTS. Chrissy Teigen also joined in the protest and the comments that she received after her announcement only proved her point. Ladies, let's do this, she wrote initially. Hashtag women boycott Twitter. Not because of hate, but because I love this platform and know it can be better. According to screenshots she posted, her mentions were instantly filled with remarks like, are you a fan of a good butt spanking? I, bitch, leave, and it's all right, Twitter is a better place without you easily offended feminist bitches. So Chrissy screenshotted them and reposted them with the text, my mentions since posting hashtag women boycott Twitter three minutes ago. Hashtag this is why. And for those of you thinking that, well, Twitter is just following their protocol for threatening tweets, we must note the disconnect in Twitter's policy. White supremacists and neo-Nazis are able to maintain their accounts, but McGowan tweeting a phone number is grounds for suspension? Someone tweeted this side-by-side -side pic. They wrote, one of these people is a white supremacist. The other is an actress who spoke out on sexual harassment. Guess who was suspended by Twitter? And Ghostbusters director tweeted how President Trump threatened to wipe out another country using Twitter and yet did not get suspended. Twitter finally reactivated her account and pledged their support to women in an official statement. Well, I say we make the message stick. If you want to unite with this movement, then turn off your Twitter today. I did it. Turn off all those notifications. Voice your opinions on Instagram instead. This will affect how much money Twitter makes today. So let me know where you stand on this issue. Follow me on Twitter tomorrow, not today, and hit me up on Instagram at Miriam underscore Issa. To really get that blood boiling, click over here for Cara Delevingne and a slew of more actresses sharing their horrible stories of allegedly being abused by Harvey Weinstein. I'm Miriam Issa and thanks for watching Clever.